Oh, I really want a garden party as well, a garden party 30. See, I just want so many bags. So like if I was gonna buy like a garden party 30 and like a Kelly and Doe backpack, I think that would be a great two bags for the year, honestly. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, I'm Jess. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. I would super appreciate it. If you're in Australia, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, it is Christmas morning. So I hope you got a lot of presents. And if you didn't, have a lovely time anyway. Treat yourself, take this time to relax, have a day off. I mean, not everyone gets a day off on Christmas, but if you do have a day off, well, enjoy it. I usually don't have a day off uh, during the Christmas holidays, but Christmas is the time that I do get a day off. So I'm super excited. Let me know what did you get for Christmas? Did you get any handbags? Because you know, that is probably the best gift you can get other than jewelry. Maybe you got jewelry, let me know. Um, I'm really excited to see all the Christmas unboxings and you know what I got for Christmas videos. Is there like a dream bag that you maybe got? There are some people who only buy if you're a handbag collector, you only get a handbag when it's Christmas or your birthday. And I think I, I don't know, I kind of used to think that was like silly, but now I kind of think that is a good way to like discipline yourself because that means that you're probably only going to buy max two bags a year. And yeah, if you've waited all year to get a handbag, well, guys, congratulations if you got a handbag today because... Yeah, I mean, that's super exciting. I don't know if next year I'm going to be buying a lot of handbags only because I, um, well, you know, you know when it gets to the end of the year, guys, do you ever, like, reflect on, like, what happened this year? Because I feel like for me it was very random. I'm still trying to get into the rhythm of things in my life and I still feel like there's a lot of things I need to work on within myself. I didn't think I would sell as many bags as I did. I didn't think I'd let go of as many Chanel bags and I ended up really falling in love with Hermes bags and I don't think I really want to sell any of these bags so that means that next year I'm going to have to really be very choosy with what I buy. So I discussed discuss with you guys bags that are on my wish list for my lifetime and you know that might help me um, say no to any other random bags that come up. I don't know guys, do wish lists work for you or do, are they not that useful? Sometimes I like to just make wish lists because it's fun to dream. But I would say definitely a bag that I would love to have in my lifetime is a Birkin 25. Um, now I admittedly stalk Finkelpuff like almost every day and look at all the, you know, Birkins and Kellys that she has for sale. I ended up purchasing a Kelly bag from her um this year and um this is a kelly 28 from 1991 so it's 31 years old and i will say it was pretty nerve-wracking sending um a big chunk of money uh via bank transfer to someone in singapore but it ended up being okay and I, I got my bag so i was really happy with it and i just think that she has so many cool bags every time i like see a dream bag on her instagram i just feel like it really motivates me to just, you know, focus in. You know, I've seen a lot of like beautiful Kelly 32s uh, as well with like cool colors and yeah, Birkin 25. So I would probably like to add another Birkin and or Kelly uh, to my handbag collection. And I guess like really, like if I buy no bags next year, maybe I can just buy one Kelly or one Birkin, honestly, because, you know, when you buy like four bags, say for $5,000, which I was doing, that adds up to, you know, $20,000. So you could definitely buy a Birkin or Kelly with that. So maybe next year I'll just buy one Birkin or Kelly. I don't know. Or is even that a little bit much? Um, yeah, that's something that I was thinking of buying next year. But you know, guys, um, ever since I got my puzzle bag from Loewe, I've been really craving another Loewe bag as well. So um, a part of me wants to buy something uh, from Loewe next year, and I'm sure they'll do, do another special collaboration. So that is something that is definitely going to tempt me. But you know, with all these like limited edition collaborations, I feel like um, I don't know, I don't want to buy something just because it's rare or limited edition or, you know, you have to buy it then and there. I only want to buy something if it's something that I've been thinking about buying for a while. And with these, like, limited edition releases, you don't really get to see the sneak peeks to, like, you know, last minute. And I don't want to be spontaneous with my purchasing. Um, also, I'm a little bit on the fence about buying another Loewe bag because I truly do love Hermes bags more. So I feel like it would be a waste for me to, like, put a few thousand dollars towards the Loewe bag next year. But there is still a part of me that would still want to buy another Loewe bag. So 
that's a bit like a Loewe bag like a special one is something that I might buy next year but again I'm a bit on the fence bag which I'm on the fence with is the in the loop bag now honestly after um, a lot of your guys's feedback on that bag uh, I made a video about this bag recently I decided that this is probably not a bag that I'm gonna buy um, I already have a Picotin bag from Hermes so I don't think I need to add another little Hermes bucket bag to my collection because um, I'm really enjoying this and I should just like kind of appreciate what I have. Same with my puzzle bag. Like, I already have a puzzle bag. Like, do I really need to buy, like, another Loewe bag? Like, can't I just have one and done? Like, why do I have to keep adding bags? So, I'm trying to next year just appreciate what I already have and not feel like I have to constantly collect because I feel like at the moment I already have, like, a decent amount of handbags. I think I have about 17 or 18, which for some people is, like, not even that much but I feel like for me it's a lot especially because they're all pretty expensive so um I'm trying to instead of like feel like I need to add more of the same thing um just enjoy what I have so the in the loop I do like it but I feel like I already have a Picotin like do I really need to buy another one maybe it would be cooler to, to just skip it and buy a really cool Kelly 32 or Birkin 25 or something um and Guys, honestly, I think in my lifetime, I would absolutely love to buy a Kelly Ado backpack. Now, I recently sold my uh, Chanel Gabrielle backpack, um, only because I'm kind of over Chanel, and the Gabrielle backpack is something that I thought, honestly, I could sell for a good price now, because, you know, the Gabrielle bag has been discontinued, and a lot of people are kind of panic buying Chanel, because it's getting harder to get, and especially a bag in black is um you know always desirable so I decided to sell my Gabriel backpack um and focus in on my Hermes bags and yeah um with that money um I well actually I sold a few bags recently so I did buy, buy a mini Belide uh which I really love so I don't regret buying that and I also bought a uh omnibus bag in Clemence leather which I also super love and I actually wore this yesterday and I really enjoyed it and when you guys asked me if this is um heavy because it's in Clemence leather and actually I felt um a Birkin 35 in Clemence and that one was really heavy and even a Kelly 32 in Clemence is quite heavy but this bag is not heavy at all so I think because it's a smaller bag if you get Clemence in a smaller bag it is quite lightweight so yeah I've been loving buying these bags and because I just love Hermes bags yeah I feel like I want to stay focused in on Hermes and I'm just I really don't want to add too many more bags into my life and especially next year um there's just other things that I want to focus on um but anyways because I sold my Gabriel backpack I really want to buy a Kelly Ado backpack event eventually I just think that is such an adorable style and having like a designer backpack I feel like is really my style and especially if it's an Hermes one like can you imagine a, like a black one or a colorful one I think that it would be really good to get one of those pre-loved I don't think you can necessarily buy the Kelly Ado backpack from the boutique anymore I'm not sure if it's been discontinued but I'll definitely have a look out on the pre-love market next year and yeah I think yeah that that's one that I would really love to buy. Another bag that I would super love to buy, but I don't know if I will, is the Mini Lindy from Hermes. Um, I have been absolutely loving my uh, Lindy 26 um, in the blue Brighton color. This is in the Verso, Verso style. And I feel like the Lindy 26, honestly, is a completely different bag. We're at crossbody and it's just like a miniature dumpling. So obviously I would probably only buy that if I could get it in the boutique or something because on the pre-love market they tend to be more expensive and to be honest I have bought quite a bit at the Hermes boutique so you never know like I might be able to get one one day and if that's the case then I really want to stay focused. I would love to get a Constance 18. This wasn't something that was really um, on the top of my wish list, but I think in my lifetime I would love to get a Constance bag. Um, I'd be really enjoying my Ruli bag again. See, I already kind of have these bags, but in different versions, but the Ruli bag has been a really beautiful minimalistic style, and I would love to in my lifetime have a Constance 18 because I just think it's a really iconic bag. Um, I know it also comes in the 23 size, and I think it's 23 so I can't remember I think there's like a new version as well but I think the 18 is the way to go for this bag so in my lifetime I would love a Constance 18 I mean like if I buy no bags next year and I just buy one Constance I think that would be totally worth it Kelly backpack and then like you know 
Oh, I really want a garden party as well, a garden party 30. See, I just want so many bags. So, like, if I was going to buy, like, a garden party 30 and, like, a Kelly Ado backpack, I think that would be a great two bags for the year, honestly. I can just buy one Kelly 32. That would also be, like, an amazing thing to add to my collection. So, yeah, I'm got I this year I bought so many bags, guys. Like, I pretty much sold my whole collection and redid it again. So, I'm just thinking, like, if I was going to buy a bag this year, what would it be? Because I did slip up recently and buy this bag for like it was a really good deal so um yeah I don't know I guess this was like quite random and I don't want to keep buying random bags that are really good deals so just thinking about that it kind of makes me yeah I just have to stop browsing obviously which is hard for me um and just think about like what do I really want and you know I already have so many bags so there are so many styles that are similar to like what I already have and yeah I guess really like a kelly backpack would be awesome so i think i really want that and a birkin 25 or something i would really love so really there's only really like only two bags that i like super duper love like in my head that i think that i would buy next year but yeah i don't think i'm gonna buy a birkin 25 next year so probably not but you know i do i have been saving money for like you know a separate bag so if I manage to accumulate enough money um, to buy Birkin 25, then I mean, why not? Maybe I'll buy it from a reseller. Um, who knows, guys? But yeah, I just wanted to talk about that today. I hope you enjoyed my blabby video. And yeah, have a beautiful holiday um, day off today. And I'll talk to you on my next one. Bye.